Hello and welcome to this video and to a video that I'm not sure how it's going to pan out because this afternoon Pete and I are off to go ape which I'm hoping we'll be able to get some footage on his phone and we'll be able to put it in to this video but if we can't then this video might be very short yeah that's our plan for today it was a Christmas present to Pete from me which we've only just managed to get around to doing. Uh, I am having an incredibly bad skin day. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's quite painful. Um, so not tip top, but my skin won't affect my ability to do a high ropes treetop course thingy me bob. My slight fear of heights might, though. I expect to get the wobbly leg today. It should be fun. We're going up to Trent Park. So the Go Ape course in Trent Park is our location for today's adventure. We do also have a couple of errands to run. So we need to go, well, it's all for me. I need to go to the post office and to Asda to take some stuff back because they don't fit but yeah i'm just waiting for mr thompson to drink his beyond because he wants some energy or something i don't know what he's doing jeff you looking forward to an afternoon by yourself unfortunately we can't take you to go ape although i think you'd enjoy it I think you'd love a zip wire feeling the the wind in your fur. Sorry, bud. See ya. But as said, we have to go to the post office first. So hopefully I can take you along for the ride today. Hello. Are you feeling far away? So we've, we've got this for zip wires, and then we've got like the blue and the red matrix or non matrix. So my colours aren't as obvious. Yeah, they've kind of worn off. So I mean, that's not really a blue, is it? I mean, yours actually has that. That was that. That's red, yeah. Right, so. That is all I have. Yeah. We'll get that. We won't get that. Yeah, so it's not their fault. <laughs> We've just finished Go Ape, as you've seen. Uh, obviously all the footage was of me, but that's because Pete was doing it on his phone. You um, had no pockets. And I have no pockets. So unfortunately we didn't get any Pete footage, which we should have done. What do you think? Yeah, it was good fun. It was um, some difficult parts, some rope burns, some... Uh, you, kind of, you kind of forget that you're up high, like you are really high up. Yeah, the height isn't but, really the thing. We'll arrive at it's your destination uh, at 6.05 p.m. It's the wobbling and the fear of falling. It's Even really though it's not the pipe thing that you're fear of falling off, if that makes sense. I didn't really have a fear of falling or anything. It's just the fit. It's just the like concentrating so hard to not fall off that you just forget you're high up. I don't know. That was me. But. 
but there were a lot of like obstacles that I've never done and I've done a couple of these kind of high tree things as a kid and stuff but it's been a bit delayed because this is going to take two to three hours and we're about four hours yeah we had to wait quite a bit in some areas yeah there were some busy patches and obviously some people that were pretty scared and didn't your want to do things at 6 11 p.m me included, I'd probably help people up because I'm slow. I don't think you did really, because we were always waiting After for somebody else to go. After 80 yards, bear left. Well, we were very good at staying towards the end of groups, which makes me feel more comfortable anyway, because then I don't feel like I'm holding anyone up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be massively bruised, that's for sure. Um, he's finished. Yeah, he's finished. <laughs> There was a guy that went back on some of the obstacles to go and do what they called the Tarzan swing. So, Are you because he thought that was going to be easier than what he was doing? I mean, to be fair, that little that uphill zipline thing that I did that he turned back on, blooming difficult. I yeah, felt hard. like I was going to come off that several times. I ended up doing it in a crouched position for a little while. Um, that's the thing that's given me the massive bruise that's going to appear on my arm. Um, but no. But it was good fun. Uh, definitely a different way to spend the afternoon. It was Mr. Thompson's here Christmas present. Yep. Bit of fitness, you know, why not? At I have to say road, though, turn left. I have to say, and I don't know if I've told you this, but we're doing like this 30 day ab workout thing. I feel like my core turn left has got stronger. Because normally, our, our body strength for the next those days, maybe. normally for those like high treetop thingies like we've just done, I wobble all over the place and I struggle loads. But actually, a lot of that wasn't that difficult. It was just mind over matter rather than physically struggling. Although there were some patches where I thought that my legs weren't long enough. Um, yeah, as we're really stuck in traffic now. Any thoughts? I think it's a tool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now we're going to head off to Asda because I've got to take a parcel back. The problem is, though, is I am covered in mud because every single zip line I ended up on my back. I did not be able to finish a zip line on my feet once today. It's hard to stay straight, wasn't it? So just swing around as you go. And then yeah, I ended up backwards or sideways from every single one of them. No matter how hard I tried. I nearly landed the last one backwards and then, then, then ended up scratching my back. But, yeah, see, I didn't see your landing. It wasn't good. What was your landing? I was going backwards and I was running. And then I was running for quite a while backwards. And then it just slowly just tipped me over and I just kind of like scraped my whole entire back. <laughs> so Pete's probably going to be a bit bruised as well. Yeah. Uh, we've had fun. We have left the dog for quite a while though. We weren't expecting to. We thought it'd be like two hours. Oh, I thought it'd be like two hours. I don't know what you thought. Yeah, I thought it was going to be 45 minutes an hour or something. Like, obviously, with longer safety with uh, safety stuff here. Yeah. So, just to reiterate, that was the Trent Park. I don't think they call it Trent Park. Go eight but it's in Trent Park in Cockfosters. Uh, if you're interested in other parts of the park, I do have a vlog from there where we took Jeff, so I'll link that up above. I will uh, put a link to the site, what it's actually called in the description below, in case you're interested. Uh, I heard while I was at the top of the platform on the big long zip line that it's the tallest of the Go Apes. That last zip line, I don't know how true that is, but that's what they told me. It was quite tall. Um, I, I, think, I think it's 50 metres. I quite liked how you got to know the people when you go around as well. Like, you just start talking to everyone really, because everyone's yeah, waiting I mean, in these little, little treetops. You're waiting with like three people, four people, whatever, so you do you do get to know them and then when they've gone across the After obstacle they... yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. As well. When they've gone across the obstacle they then, you know, give you some advice cross on how to do it. Cross the roundabout, second exit. So to begin with, I had a, a woman that has done Go Ape a few times, so she was saying, right, 
because I really didn't like the cargo nets. I could not do that. That was probably the worst thing for me and genuinely I thought I was going to just live on a cargo net for the rest of my life. Um, so she was telling me which, which ones, to, where to go, which sites to go because then I could avoid all the cargo nets. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. But I am kind of tired and really need some water. So after Asda, might convince Pete to buy a, a naughty sweet treat even though we're trying to be better and healthier. But I think we deserve it because, uh, I mean, we haven't done all the steps, but I have done i be interested to know what your heart rate was when you, when you were stuck, stuck on the net. <laughs> uh, I've done 153 active minutes today and they advise 150 for the week so I think I just love a treat. Catch you then. Yeah. Obviously we're home. I don't know if I've mentioned it recently, probably not because we've been away so much, but we are doing the HelloFresh again because we had a deal, so tonight Pete's making us barbecue sausage cheeseburger and slaw and wedges. He seems pretty impressed with his burgers. Oh, sausage meat burgers, great. And then he got, let's see how these are now, ooh, lost some oil. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be bread in there as well. Yeah, the buns are heating. Oh. So these are like barbecue sauce coated sausage meat burgers with cheese on top. Yeah. He's been very excited while cooking this. So yeah, that's dinner. Thank you HelloFresh and Pete. This probably isn't the most flattering angle, but oh well. So the sausage burgers, very nice. Enjoyed them a lot. We also had a goo for pudding. That was our special treat. Just to give you a little perusal. That's the state of my arm from Go Ape. But I do bruise like a peach, so maybe that's why. And then we've uh, I've got really itchy nose. Uh, yeah. Then we've spent the evening watching the women's US final with Emma Raducanu and she won. Well, wonderful news for everyone. It was actually a really good match to watch as well. Oh. That would be oh. Jeff being moved. Um, before you get in, can you sort the sheet out, please? I leave. Okay. Um, so yeah, different kind of evening, but fun nonetheless. Um, so yeah, I'm very tired now. Weary would be the word I would use. Things are aching, i.e that bad boy so i think i'm gonna end the video here so if you've enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye.